Like that. All right, Aaron. Aaron, slow down. Midnight Express 43 open. Eric, this is the moment of truth. Is this is this where it's gonna happen after this bridge? Yeah, up here we gotta wait for a couple boats to get out of the way, then hold on for dear life. Really? You might, you might blow over. Really? It's the fastest you've ever been. But do I have to do anything on my end? Is there something you can help me with, Eric? All right. All right, go. Come on. Come on, Eric. Give it to them. Give it to them, Eric. Oh, my God. Wow. What pickup, guys. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Boom, boom. Wait, baby. We got some weight. We got some weight. So Eric, there's a boat there that's hauling ass, but they're not supposed to haul ass, right? That's a cop. <laughs> oh. Hauling ass for no reason. And I'm gonna go arrest his ass. You're gonna go get him? I bet yeah. you will catch him. Yeah, and then I'll get <laughs> arrested. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh yeah, he's going to the island. Yeah, he's going to the island. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. That is the world famous Hallover Inlet on the other side of that bridge. So you have Beer Can Island, and I think this is gonna be a great video, not just be because we're gonna show an amazing boat, but I think because of where we're gonna be driving, you're gonna get a good perspective of the area. So when you see the boats coming in out of Hallover, they'll either make a left, which is towards me, or they'll make a right, which goes back to the boat ramp and there's also a marina there, which is called Hallover Park Marina. Now, you got another boat. Uh, looks like a safe boat, maybe Coast Guard boat in the backdrop also passing through. Look at the finishes on this thing, guys. Let me show you uh, around on this 43 Open. And we're going to do a whole walkthrough of, of the entire layout of this boat. I want you guys to see it. It's beautiful. The finishes are incredible. Uh, I think this particular color is very popular amongst a lot of the people who buy these boats. Um, we'll talk about that with Eric now in a little bit. Let him get us to safe waters. And... All right, guys. All right. All right. It's about to happen. It's about to happen, guys. Midnight Express 43 open. Eric, this is the moment of truth. Is this is this where it's gonna happen after this bridge? Yeah, up here we gotta wait for a couple boats to get out of the way, then hold on for dear life. Really? You might, you might blow over. Really? It's the fastest you've ever been. Oh, really? Probably. All right, guys. All right, guys. So those are big words. So some of these boats are gonna pass through. Oh boy. Damn. I I just got butterflies in my stomach. Is this even normal for Alfred Montaner? I mean, Leslie, pretend you didn't hear that. You'll, you'll be safe. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead you and see. Swim, right? Oh! All right, all right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and show this monster here. Uh, Leslie. All right, guys, this is gonna get wild, to say the least. Oh, boy. Yep. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I gotta do like the, the cross or anything, you know, I'll before? Do it, so. uh, okay, well, but do I have to do anything on my end? Is there something you can help me with, Eric? All right. All right, go. Come on, come on, Eric. Give it to them. Give it to them, Eric. Oh, my God. Wow, what pickup, guys. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah, welcome, boom, boom. Wait, baby, we got some weight, we got some weight. Oh my God, this is insane. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, Eric. How fast, how fast? To get a heart monitor i have to get a heart monitor for what just oh, happened guys we did oh, no. all right all right guys 92 okay so i'll be honest with you i chickened out how much more throttle do you think you had if you trimmed up we could have trimmed a little more this boat does 94 and change 94 and now the carbon edition of this particular boat how fast does that one go the fastest we've done is 97 we think we can do more uh the customer took the boat didn't give us any more time to play with props i'll so. tell you i'll tell you it did not feel squirrely or squiggly or like we were walking on water at, at, at all uh whoo i wish i had a heart rate monitor right now because guys i'm holding off the back and you don't feel the torque, but I feel the torque of those 450s. So this particular boat has uh, Quint 450s, yep. Mercury's. What is this boat uh, spec'd out with four, four 450s? What would that top speed look like? Uh, that boat in fiberglass does about 84 miles an hour. So it's still very up there because oh, yeah. 80 is very fast out on the water, guys. It's still awesome. <laughs> the, uh, the bigger, one, of, one of the biggest differences is the acceleration. Yeah. With five engines, this thing just launches out of the water. It's awesome. All right, so I want to show them the, the walk around of this particular boat. You, you, you want to do some figure eights. I want to show them how they maneuver um, as far as the turning and stuff like that on the boat real quick. And then we yeah. can go ahead and go and show it over there at the dock. All yeah, right, guys, so ready? he's going to show us some, some figure eights on this bad boy. All right, you're good. Let's go ahead and we'll see some turning, guys. So. All right, so hold on, cause it's gonna get, it's gonna get a little interesting. Good. We're good. No shoes gonna fly out. No, 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 no we got him. We got him. Okay. <laughs> Listen. All right, guys. So we're gonna show some turning right now on this 43 open. All right, we're going about 50 miles an hour right now, guys. I don't, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Don't worry about it, I'm good. Oh my good, oh my goodness. What? Look at the G-forces. Oh my God. Oh man, that's crazy. Wow, my G 
can't, my gimbal can't even hold on to what you're doing. Okay, Eric, do one last turn and then open it up slightly. On the way back, just like we, we did, I'm gonna get it sitting down because I wanna enjoy this moment. Make sure we're in a safe area and then open it up. I want them to see why people love midnights. All right, guys, get ready, hold on. All right, so here we are. I'm behind, I'm behind the windshield now. All right. 72, 75, we're coming up five, 78, 80. 80, all right guys. That is what you call midnight amazingness. Crazy. start heading back I can say uh, this is actually a minute to uh, maybe cruise by uh, all over and just pass through the channel show, show the boat boat off a second no 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 where the sand war is so you can see what happened what happened what happened wait 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 all right amazing that is amazing 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 all right guys so one of the things I noticed is once I'm behind this shield windshield yeah, so I don't feel a lot of wind when I was on that second row. Now, if I wanted to get a facelift because I'm getting a little older, I just go to the front, right? All right, guys. So I'm going to have to go to the front a little bit. Father Time is undefeated, man. I'm, I'm going to get wrinkles and stuff. Moisturizer. I need moisturizer. Wow. Um, guys, do me a favor and smash that like button for these guys over here at midnight. And uh, what an amazing amazing experience uh look they can push it harder and and behind the scenes they're telling me he's got more but honestly guys i'm holding on to two cameras and and trust me i i think you guys know the chicho baby <laughs> the murder hornets are out <laughs> long live the chicho that's so funny. You know, you know when we go over to Hollow right now, they, they call they call me the king of Hollowover over here in uh, South Florida. You know that, right? It's so funny that I, they recognize you from that far away. Listen, could have been on any boat. <laughs> no, but they know. They know the Chicho, bro. The Chicho. And who gives you better content on a boat than Alfred Montaner? I mean, guys, the man. what the we man. just what we just did was incredible. Look, I don't think YouTube has seen with this type of equipment movement on these on these boats like today now i have some cool ass footage of you guys not not you guys but your customers hauling ass out of government cut and i have those videos and i'm going to link them to this video but wow what uh what an experience now i also want to show inside the cabin 
to see the layout on this. Um, this is not like the Solstice, right? The Solstice is new. It has a bigger cabin. And I'm going to link that video too, guys. If you guys going to see the Solstice, that day we didn't run it as hard as we did this one. But that boat is just as capable as doing what we did right now with a different layout inside, right? Correct. So it has a bigger cabin. Well, it's 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 more geared for a, a little bit different client, right? There's no live well, so you get the extra space in the back. So you have more space yeah. to dance. Sure. <laughs> you know, we're going to the sandbar. We got to set it up. I got to go ahead and start putting B-roll of, of people dancing at the sandbar now. All right, guys. Uh, the segue that you don't even know is going to happen over here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I just asked Eric to take me to the Hallover sandbar. And uh, it's going to get wild, guys. So... We will go and uh, hang out with uh, a couple of the peeps. It's still very early, so boats are gonna start getting to the sandbar, but uh, it should get wild, so let's go. Let's check out the sandbar. You From guys, far away, bro. On any boat in the world, you can be on any boat. I can't go anywhere where there's boats and people don't okay, recognize part me. Part of it's probably because you're holding the camera and they're like, okay, someone's holding the camera. No, it's Eric. Is, look how good looking I am, man. Leslie, tell him. Tell him. Lie. Lie to the camera, bro. I'm going to pinch you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're almost here to haul over a uh, sandbar. And that is the world famous. All over sandbar. It is very early still, guys. So, it will get a little wild in a little bit. So, now if you guys want to watch a good uh, sandbar uh, life channel, check out Fresco channel on YouTube. He has uh, a lot of uh, cool videos coming out of this sandbar. He's also doing an event, I think sometime soon, probably here at the sandbar. So, check out his channel. I think he's doing some other events as well. Good guy, good family, and uh, check him out, man. That is the 60 Midnight Express. And this is a new 37 right here. And we're currently on a 43. So, all right guys. I don't know, what an epic day, huh? Epic, to say the least. That one's pretty, I like that one. So I'm gonna walk you guys on this one real quick. So I want you guys to check this one out. And uh, I just talked to to Leslie. She's like, she was like, Alfred, there's a couple things in the cabin that we still haven't finished, so I don't want you to film it. But I will reference you guys to my Midnight Express videos that we've done at the shows, so. Badass, man. Wow, this is beautiful. All right, guys. So you guys wonder, look at this. They're going to go out, guys. Look at them. How cool is that? The workers. All right, guys. Munchies in the house. Going to haul over. All right, guys. So we're going to run this. Uh, <laughs> First of all, my name is Alfred Montana, guys. We are about to run right now. We are going to get on a brand new 43 Open. And uh, we're going to run it right now. And Leslie and Eric Glacier from Midnight just said, hey, Alfred, we're going to run it really, really hard. Leslie, are we going to run this boat? Yes, we are. going to run it hard? All right. So. So tell me a little bit about this boat before we get it on the water. Uh, this is our 43 Open. 43 Open. It's powered by Quick Mercury Racing 450s. All right. So our boats are all custom to order. So everything's a little different. But over here we got your standard sink, cooler, and cutting board. Okay. Let's see what he did down here. So this is a, a customer's boat. And then right now you guys are, are actually doing some sea trawling and making sure everything is good, right? Yes, we are. Making sure we're getting ready for his delivery next week. So he's made a cooler and a fridge. I'll put some options. All 
All right. So, is this is this a standard option? Is there other layouts in here in the cockpit that you guys do that maybe some people ask for? Or? Pretty endless. You could do a big cooler up here. You could do a big cooler down here. You could do two coolers. You could do a nice maker. You could do two fridges. So you could have just one row if you want more aft space. This would come right up here instead of having two. So it's pretty much up to them. I see that this windshield goes all the way to the T-top. Is that something new or? Yes, yeah, so this is our arch top actually, but yes. So so it comes all the way? To the top, so it gives them a little bit more wind protection. So we're gonna go about what, 90 miles an hour? Yes, 100, sir. how fast are we gonna go, do you think? If you had to guess, <laughs> right now when we run it. This one will probably do 92. 92? Yes. All right guys, so, so we're gonna see if we can get this midnight now to go 92 miles an hour but we got leslie here from midnight showing us the 43 open so the last time we were on one of the midnights leslie we were on the brand new solstice and we weren't able to run it but it's the same hull right the solstice and the 43 open have the same bottom layout yeah, so it's the same hull just that the solstice has been redesigned completely other than the hall you have your extended console cabin's bigger so you have a galley it's a little different in the aft room of the live well, so you have more space back there, not like this one. So technically, however fast we go today is as fast or very similar that the 43 Solstice can go because it's on the same running surface. Yep, so actually with the Game Changer, which we were on, yes. we did a poker run with the actual owner and it was about eight of us on the boat and he was nine, doing 92. 90, 92. Yep. Guys, this is so <laughs> sick. I don't think I've held a gimbal going that fast. It so is, it is fun. <laughs> so tell, tell me a little bit over here in uh, in the front of the boat in the bow. So you have your four seating, you have your table, it's completely flush, it comes up midway, becomes a big sun bed. If you bring it all the way up, you can dine around it. So Very you're just convenient. you're just pressing a button right yep, here. Just Now those are fender lockers there. Yes, so right there you would put the, the cushions, which we tend to just keep in the cabin. And, and then you can have a- One big sun bed. So you can just go ahead and lay out, get some sun and- Yep. Now I did see in one of the shows that you guys had a GPS in the front. Yeah, so Game Changer actually has one in the front and in the aft as well. So that's an option you guys can do? Yes. Cool. So these are our fender lockers, makes it easy with your lines, your fenders. There's four, two on each side. And obviously you, you have probably one of the best seats in the house here. I would say so, but then my opinion would be a little biased. <laughs> and you got armrests here also with cup holders. One of my favorite spots. Now this particular, um, you're still doing sea trawling on it. You told me that the, okay. Um, you told me that the actual cabin is not 100% done, so we're not going to show that. Yeah. Um, I see that also when you get here, you have some areas that you can go ahead and put your feet. Yes. So you can adjust that in and out depending on how you feel. And the visibility, guys, on this is very good. Look, if you're driving this boat, this is the view that you would be getting right here. So you got your compass right in the center. and. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, so this one actually has a bow and stern thruster. You can see it over here. Bow and stern? Yes. So it's very easy to maneuver. I think we're, is that, is that, uh, we were just coming out of the water right now, weren't we? So, all right. Somebody's been seeing some of the videos that we've done. They're gonna, I don't know, they might have seen this after the fact, depending on how I edit this video. What, where, what's a price point of a boat, say, like this, specked out the way? We don't have to give them 100%. We can give them just a, a range. So because that can vary depending on what you put. Yes, exactly. So, so well. give them a deep range, like something really well, well equipped, midnight 43 open. Um, I know that the timelines for you guys to make boats and every manufacturer is right now limited because 
there's just so much demand. Yes, so we're about over a year out on our 43 open. And something like this one would more or less be in that million range. About a million. Yeah. Okay, so, million. but you can take it even higher if you want to oh, do yeah. more custom stuff depending yes. on how you're decked out. If you're getting the if you're getting the 0.450s, you know, all those things will have you in that, that range. So, we're going to put the specs and I'm going to put a link to your website so they can get the fuel, capacity, all that good stuff here. And, uh, and then we're going to run it. This is what I really want. I want to run this boat. I can't wait, guys. All right. So where can they go online? And I, I heard you got a YouTube channel now. What, what's your YouTube yeah, channel? I've had it. So it's Midnight Express Power Boats. And then our website's MidnightBoats.com. You guys are going to be competing with Alfred Monter? No, no. Ah, I'm just kidding. If you, if, you can, if you can. Listen, I'll, I'll go ahead and help you guys if you guys need. Hey, guys, smash a like for uh, Leslie. And we're going to see Eric also in a little bit because he's going to be the captain while we're going, what, 100 maybe? A hundred? We, oh, yeah. we, we wish? All right, guys. Alfred Montana, get ready, guys. We're about to run this bad boy. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do. Hey, you know, in 2020, I had to take over, I had to take over the uh, haulover inlet. I think I might have to take over the uh, haulover sandbar too, bro. Some people are acting up over here. <laughs> Come in like four hours. Four hours? It's gonna be insane. There's only one king over here in uh, haulover sandbar, guys, and that's the, the Fresco channel. My name is Alfred Montaner, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Amazingness, that's what we do. I'm out of here, guys. Alfred Montaner making a scene. As always, I want to thank Leslie and Eric for doing this. We're out of here.